Hello and welcome to 15th Century Spinning. Today I will be unwrapping a new spindle from Hershey Fibre Arts. When I say it's a new spindle, it's not new to them or new to anyone else that has seen them before. This is just a spindle I haven't yet used. I bought a whole pile of them when she had a free shipping sale and I was really excited to see it actually included shipping to Australia. Um, so I bought a bunch and I haven't opened them all. So this is how they come. In a little cardboard tube. So unfold the ends. And you'll see there's a little bit of um, cotton wool padded down in there. So get that little bit out, give it a shake. And you have your spindle. And that little bit of cotton wadding at each end is much needed. The tips of these spindles are nice and fine. I've, I've carved finer myself, but it's probably the finest I've seen really in a commercial spindle. Um, yeah, they do break a little bit more easily, um, but these I find are a great balance between strong enough that they don't break too easily and still having that really nice fine tip and for the medieval style spin spinning you want a nice fine tip it's it's fast spinning it's it's quick not necessarily long but it's fast and if you think about the physics um, you know cogs and wheels and all of that the finer the spindle tip the more the more turns you can get for the same the same flicking motion in your hand. If you compare that to spinning where it's thicker, you're not going to get anywhere near as many turns as up here on the top. You notice it comes with some string on it. Um, some people will use that as a leader. Um, you can do that. I tend not to spin with a leader most of the time. Um, half the time I'm grabbing a spindle I've already spun out of, out of my box, and there's no leader. And the reason why this comes with the string on there is Hershey Fiber Arts actually has done a spin test. So each of her spindles, she puts some string on it, gives it a spin test, and makes sure it spins nicely. So let's take that off, and I'll show you how you can actually get started without a leader. And I'll take this little rubber band off as well. Um, not sure if they're just there to hold on the string for the spin test or if you could use them maybe to help pressure fit a wall. Um, but let's take that off. Now I'm putting on um, one of my favourite spindle walls. I love this. Here have a nice look at this little spindle wall. It's a really nice little stone one. The hole in the middle is not too big. One thing I find with these spindles is sometimes there's not enough shape in them for some of the larger hold whorls. So the, the spindle whorl will sit further up into the belly of the spindle than you might like. So here you can see my favourite spindle whorl, or one of my favourites, on the spindle. Um, I'd love to be using one of my lead ones on this, but they really do sit too far up in the belly. Um, I believe that um, Hershey Fiber Arts is doing some larger spindles, so thicker here and longer here, which I really want to have a try. These are long enough, her, her original ones. Um, they're not as long as what I would like. Um, I think I could get some, some more fibre on a longer one. I think that would fit more of my walls. So next time I order a bunch of spindles, I'm going to be opting for the larger ones. Okay, so we have a bit of a more close-up view of my distaff. And this is how I spin without a leader. You can see there's, there's no thread on this whatsoever. First thing you do, put down your spindle. You just come to your distaff and start drawing out some thread. So you draw and you spin. Spinning just twisting with your fingers. That's what spinning is. It's putting twist into thread. There's many different ways of putting twist into thread. There's, you know, spindle spinning, wheel spinning. You can tie it to a rock and swing it around your head. Whatever works. For this, 
pulling out, twisting with your fingers. And I always like to pull out a bit of a thicker thread than I might usually spin with. Um, it's going to be nice and strong. You don't have to put much twist in it. It's not going to take as long. Um, and you're going to be tying a great big knot in the end of this, so you don't want to be fiddling around with anything too fine and fiddly. And this is what happens if you let too much twist go up into your distaff, it just becomes a bit tough to pull. But there we go, it's pulling nicely now. All you do, you get your spindle, and I'll try to do this holding it in midair, but you tie a knot around the shaft above your wool. It's really important to tie it above your wool. Um, if you are starting off with a heavier wool and switching to a lighter one as you spun, or there comes a point where you just take off your wool completely um, because your cop's big enough to to do you know do the weight um, otherwise you know if you want to spin on a different spindle and your favorite wall is on this spindle well the knots above you can just take it off it means you're not going to be having you know this issue where you can't get your your wool off because you've tied you're not below it and that's it you're you're ready to spin it's it's got a leader now you've just made one so you wind it up and you spin and what we'll do is we'll zoom out again and that way you can get a bit of a longer shot on how the spindle spins okay so here we have a more zoomed out version of me spinning with the Hershey Fibre Art Spindle um, it's a great spindle what can I say I mean it's it's got a really nice fine tip um, for turning. As I mentioned um, before, the finer the tip, the more the more revolutions you can get from each turn. It's only thing I would say about this is I'd like a bigger one. Great, she makes bigger ones. I'll order a bigger one. These spindles are my my new favourite spindles. Um, mainly because of that finer tip and the spiral notch. So that's the great thing with Hershey's um, spindles is she will make you a notch of what you want. So you can get a no notch spindle, you can get one with a left slant or a right slant depending on whether you spin right handed, left handed, whether you turn clockwise, whether you turn anti-clockwise. You can have some for spinning singles and some for plying if you ply or even just some for whichever direction you want to spin. Um, medieval textiles, they had both S and Z spun fibres in them, so they, they did both. Um, this one, it has a spiral notch, so you can get a plain notch or you can get a spiral. I really love the spiral notches. The like what we call today the, the French spindles, because, you know, I suppose the most common ones we hear of today are from France, but they're similar, they're a, a you know, European style spinning, so they're a, a hand spindle. And they often have spiral notches, either just carved, or they also have little metal, um, like pigtails, so little metal notch. Sometimes they fit on, they're like a removable cup, um, but it's fantastic. It means if you want to do either suspended spinning or semi-suspended, it makes it really easy, and you don't need a half notch. If I was doing a full suspended spin, like, you know, you do with a drop spindle, like, you know, dropping it down maybe at the end of your spin, or even just using it as a drop spindle, I would put a half hitch on here. So I would come along and do a half hitch. Um, reason being, your hands are probably going to be far away from the sp tip of the spindle. So think about the classic drop spindle person. They will spin it, and then they'll come up here and they'll draft with two hands. Um, usually because they're not using a distaff, or if they are using a distaff, just because they're used to that style of drafting. But if I'm doing the semi-suspended, so that's when you're just suspending the spindle between between a flex, don't need a half hitch on here. And what we'll do is we'll come up closer and we'll have a close-up view of the spindle tip and of spinning with that um, semi-suspended method. 
So here we have a bit of a closer spindle view. And you can see, if I was spinning, um, you know, suspended between my flicks, you just spin. hope you can see that. There's, there's no half hitch on here. You just spin the thread as you spin falls into this beautifully hand-carved groove and that's it.